Well, I'll get a little job here. It's been sitting here for weeks. I've been uh, choosing to play with all kinds of other stuff first. <laughs> uh, I did this once before for a friend who's now up in uh, Grand Coulee. And I, we didn't take any videos or anything like that. So, kind of curious. Uh, uh, you know, so I don't remember much of what we did. Anyway, this is a uh, Datsun L-Series engine. Four-cylinder crank pulley. Uh, this is off a, probably a Ford Escort. Okay. And what it is, is we're looking to mate this ring with that pulley. Because uh, he wants to put EDIS on it. So, I did it before. And did it so that it was a heat and shrink, basically so there was an interference fit between this ring and this pulley, uh, so that this had to get heated up and dropped on. Um, the the guy wants it just to be a slip fit, and then he's going to tack weld it. i got to do a little checking, because I'm not sure that's the the best option. So i got to do some measuring and that stuff. And and first off, we got to figure out how to get the, uh, the ring off of here. I guess I'm going to heat it up and see if it comes off. I may try to press it off. I got a big enough uh, gear puller. We'll see. Well, I'm hoping I get enough propane. I'm not uh, sure if I got another bottle or not. <laughs> this one's been dropped. <laughs> My thought is that I can uh, heat up the outer ring here enough that maybe that'll just drop right out of there. Just about 300 degrees. Um, right there. So that's just a ballpark. Yeah, temp's dropping real quick. But, uh, yeah, the the center, the cast iron center is still, uh, so this thing's over 300 degrees. And this has cooled off substantially already. Yeah, see it's already down to 120, 130. Yeah, it's right around 130, 140. And this is still 280. Uh, the fit is, uh, I'm going to call it perfect. It's the best of both worlds. It's not quite a pressed fit, and it's not quite a slip fit. Uh, it's, it's right in the middle. Uh, Luke will be able to decide where he wants it. Because the thing is, is the, the crank pulley is keyed to the crank, and then you've got to find exactly where top dead center is. Uh, there's a dot there. That could be it. Oh, there's a notch right here. Uh, but depending on where he puts the brackets will dictate where the missing tooth has to be to a sensor, okay? So he wanted a slip fit so then he could just, uh, uh, you know, just tack it. And I'm going to leave that up to him. Uh, so basically he can press it on, it won't move, and then be able to just tap it down. to where he wants, he'll have to spin it to make sure that it's, uh, uh, you know, doesn't, isn't knock sideways or something like that. And then he'll be able to uh, just tap it gently and, and get it back off, uh, which I, I think was on the camera already, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the uh, lathe one more time and tap around to get it perfectly true and then take another last skim coat well 
I guess that doesn't really matter. But I want to see how close it is. Let's go see how close it is. If Luke can get it to spread that, spin that true when he puts it on, uh, I'm going to leave it on there like that. It's just, you know, that way he can see what it takes to, to uh, pop it back off. This is on here enough that he could probably even start the car and uh, check it, you know, and then be able to move it. So uh, I'm, I'm really damn pleased with uh, how well that uh, came out. That ought to do the trick. So I don't have it all the way on there. As you can see, I left a good 16th of an inch, 330 seconds there. And he could certainly put it on. There's still a little bit... Uh, thing there I may send a uh, I may send a pack of Loctite because if you were to put bearing and shaft retainer on with this I bet it would uh, hold no problem it's I would like it tighter for a for a press fit but uh, uh, even a loose fit up to like seven thousandths difference with that uh, I think it's 242 bearing and shaft retainer by Loctite even without primer up to seven thousandths uh, it'll grab and then it takes about 400 degrees to get it to release so all right, well, it's going to get boxed back up and go back to Luke.